We got like uh, mobbing, harvesting or, or ripping out quite a few uh, plants that have gone to seed. Uh, we've got a good seed uh, collection from them and I didn't want to leave them in much longer than they were. I've left a couple in just maybe to get some more seeds later um, off the rocket and um, one more or two more batchoids up here as well. Um, but all the other plants I've ripped out and that's um, that's going to let a lot more sunlight get through, help the broad beans uh, develop. There's um, a couple of the plants down here as well. Um, there's um, a courgette down here. It's not getting much light, but it will do as soon as, um, as soon as I start harvesting the beans and cutting down a few of the beans. Um, you know, I'm going to have another courgette plant there that's going to like zoom off um, or zoom up very quickly. It probably about as soon, soon as it gets a light, probably about two weeks, and I'll be harvesting it. Um, but the broad beans, you know, another another few days and stuff like that, I'll be uh, getting a few meals a day off it. So that's that's not that's not bad. But by ripping out all the excess um, uh, plants that were here that were going to seed, um, it means that there's a lot more moisture can get to the beans, so they're not soaking up all the um, water. Um, and I've got uh, potatoes growing down here. I've just earthed them up a little bit today, um, partly because I just had a, a mound of soil there, I didn't realise. Um, just poured it over them. Um, but it's only by about a centimetre of earthed them up by. Um, it won't help them that much, but it certainly um, will help break up the soil once I dig up the potatoes anyway.